Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about logic elements. Today we're talking about what base logic elements there are. Last time we talked about what a logic element is and how is it working. Yeah. And today we're talking about what base elements there are. All right. So the most simple base element is the so-called identity. Yeah. Sometimes it makes sense. Yeah. Right now, if I, if I tell you now, it looks just stupid, but it's the identity. Yeah. The symbol of this logic element would be like that. One input, one output, and the symbol inside is simply one. All right. So we have an input X and an output Y. Yeah. What is the table of truth? Yeah. So this means if I note here now X and I note here now Y and I make all possible combinations of X. Yeah. So what are the possible combinations of X? It's 0 and 1 and the output is 0 and 1. Yeah. And the logical equation, the Boolean equation, we will discuss this in later videos, but I note it here as well, means x equals y. That's the identity. It's the same as before. Then there's another thing. It's called not. Not. It has pretty much the same symbol, yeah? so it has also one input, one output, and the symbol here is one. Yeah? However, I make this little ring at the end. Yeah? So this means not. Every time there's a ring, after the ring, it's exactly not what is before the ring. Yeah? So if we look here at the table of truth, if we Again, have here x, yeah, and here y, and looking at all possible combinations, x zero and one are the possible combinations. Then y is exactly the opposite. So this means y is one and zero, exactly the opposite. And the Boolean equation would look like that: x equals Y, but X, not X, yeah? not X, yeah? not X. This little here yeah? means not X. And then we have a so-called AND. How does this look? Yeah? Here we have a symbol and we have two entries and one exit yeah and the symbol inside is such an ampers end uh, this end symbol okay so we have this time we have an x1 we have an x2 and we have a y yeah and now the table of truth must be a little bit bigger because i have x1 and i have x2 and i have my y yeah and i need all possible combinations and the combinations are now more because simply x1 and x2 can have more different so we have 0 0 we have 0 1 we have 1 0 and we have 1 1 okay so what is y y is only if both are there and if this and this is there, yeah. So here it's zero, here it's zero, here it's zero, and only in this case it's one. Yeah. What is the what is the equation? That's y equals x1, and in our notation we will note it like that x2. So this means x1 and x2. Okay, this is our Boolean representation. Okay, that's an AND, yeah? and then we have an OR, I'll write it here, OR. The symbol is again pretty much the same, two inputs, 
one output however inside there there is this symbol so we again have x1 we again have x2 we have again a y yeah we can again build a table of truth so we have x1 we have x2 and we have y now let's note again all possible combinations so these are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and or means either x1 or x2 is present or both yeah? so this means it's 0 1 1 1 or yeah? this or this must be present then we are already satisfied and the boolean equation means y equals yeah? and in our notation we will note it like that x1 and now it's a little bit so looks a little bit strange but this is an or this is an and this is an or <laughs> the plus symbol is an or yeah? x2 that's an or right then we have an and not and this means not and yeah? so the symbol of the and looks exactly like the and But again, we have this little thing at the end, yeah. So this ring, which means exactly not that, yeah. Exactly not, yeah. <laughs> x1, x2, yeah. Y. Table of truth. X1, x2, y. And the table of truth is exactly the opposite. Of this one all right so we have here we have here uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 huh? and the output is exactly not that so we have 1 1 1 0 all right so we have here y equals x1 and x2 yeah and above all not okay not yeah, that and where there's an end there's also no yeah, not or yeah symbol exactly like the or yeah however with a little ring in the end tack Mm -hmm. we have again x1 we have again x2 we have again y and we can again form the base the table of truth logic table 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and it's exactly not that so we have one zero 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 yeah? and the boolean equation is y equals x1 or x2 yeah? but those things not exactly not that these are the prime base elements yeah? there are extended base elements i can i will also note yeah? so we have some extended base elements as well uh, this we have an xnor yeah? exclusive exclusive nor yeah? this has even a, a separate symbol looking like that two inputs and an equation sign which gives already uh, the function of this yeah because if we have a look at the table of truths and we say okay x1 x2 and y yeah, see the possible combinations here 
we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, then the output is only true if both inputs are the same. Okay, so in this case, 0 and 0 is the same, this is not the same, this is not the same, this is the same. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? So why the logical or the equation, yeah? Boolean equation is yeah? x1 and x2 yeah? or not x1 and not x2. Huh? This is the, the Boolean equation. Like I said, the Boolean equations we are going to talk about in a follow-up video, yeah? how this can be read. Yeah? And then we have an exclusive OR, an XOR. There we also have two inputs. Yeah? One output. The symbol is equal one. Yeah? X1, X2, and Y. Yeah? Table of truth, X1, X2, Y. Uh, a lot of zeros and ones here. Yeah. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Yeah. Here, they must not be equal. Yeah. They must differ. So here we have a zero, we have a one, we have a one, we have a zero. Yeah. And the Boolean equation y equals. Yeah, we have x one and not x2 or not x1 and x2 that's the boolean equation then we have a thing called inhibition this is a symbol which already indicates that it is not really a base element. Yeah? So we have this symbol. Yeah? So we have here an AND. Yeah? We have an output of this AND. We have an input to this AND. And we have another input where it's not. Yeah? So we have again x1, x2, and y. Table of truth, x1 x2, y, zack, zack, write again all possible combinations. So x1 must be there and x2 does not does not have to be there, yeah, because there is a knot. Yeah? So you see this little ring? It's a knot. So this means okay, x1 has to be there. Here, zero, here, zero. Yeah? And here, x2 has not to be there, so here it's one, here it's zero. Yeah? That's this. Yeah? And the logical equation, y equals x1 and not x2. Inhibition. These are really not, not, I don't consider these as base elements, yeah? because they can be built with the real base elements, and the real base elements, in my opinion, are those. Yeah? Those identity, not, and, or, and, and, nor. Yeah? These are the real base elements for me. Uh, what with those base elements can be done? Yeah? And how to use them, uh, we will discuss in in next video. Well, in next video we are going to discuss about this Boolean algebra, yeah? Boolean equation. I promise that we will do that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, then we are going to to see how to use those logic base elements. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.